save 10% with my code Bobby10. Just kidding, guys. Today's offer is much greater than a saving of 10%. I teamed up with my Muslim brothers and we created Pure Passage. Imagine sending the reward of Umrah this Ramadan to someone you really loved but had already departed from this dunya. Or they're really sick and they cannot perform Umrah at all. Imagine the feeling of honoring his or her memory and expressing your love and devotion while still ensuring that they receive this gift. The reward of performing Umrah. As a new revert, I just learned about this, but you know better than me that performing Umrah is a profound spiritual journey that most Muslims aspire to undertake and you understand the rewards of it. However, for some, this journey can be challenging, especially when their loved ones are sick or have already passed away. At Pure Passage, we understand how important it is to fulfill this obligation for your loved ones. That's why we offer our professional and reliable service to perform Umrah on behalf of your sick or deceased parents, spouse or any other relatives. We believe that everyone should have the opportunity to fulfill this sacred act even if they are unable to do so themselves and equally understand that the physical and financial challenges of performing Umrah yourself on behalf of your loved ones can be overwhelming. That's where Pure Passage comes in. We take care of everything and make sure that your loved one's Umrah is performed with the utmost care and attention to detail. So let us help you earn this immense reward for your loved ones by performing Umrah on their behalf. Contact us today and let's make it happen. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, breaking news, a Hindu lady was abusing Muslims in a mosque before Eid prayer and got abducted by the police. I already saw a short on YouTube about this incident. However, this video goes in further depth and detail about what happened truly when this Hindu lady went into the mosque and started abusing Muslims. Guys, before we start the video, as always, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. With no further ado, let's have a look. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Here you can see one Hindu lady was abusing the Muslims when they were preparing for Eid prayer and was doing the taqwa. Beer. And at that time, this lady came to the masjid in Adam Center, which is one of the largest mosques in the United States, located in Starling. And she started shouting and abusing the Muslims. Then the police came and they asked her to calm down, but still she was abusing the Muslims from the member, from the place where they give the khutbah. Then this police they arrested her and then they kicked her out of the masjid. And she was fighting on the way she was going. The police they have handcuffed her from the back and then i have to say looking at this it just doesn't feel right on the one hand sure probably potentially people did the right thing by calling the police and not getting involved into any type of violence but at the same time i have to say the mosque is packed the mosque is full with so many people i'm sure they could have just grabbed her and not violently escorted her out of the mosque i don't really see why they had to involve police here. Again, as I said, probably the right thing to involve the police and to not taint the image of Islam to make it appear oh so violent. But at the same time, I have to admit, if I were there and I would witness this, I would grab the lady myself and bring her out the door. Gently. I took her out of the masjid. This was so disgusting. The Muslims, after fasting for the whole 30 days in Ramadan, they are preparing for their Eid day to celebrate and to pray. And this lady out of nowhere started abusing the Muslims in the masjid. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, the Muslims in the Western countries, they are more tolerant. But what did she say? They follow the rules and regulations. They are peaceful people. But we see even in England and in many other places, they are the victims. They are abused by the non-Muslims and also they get stabbed out of the masjid. We should 
raise awareness. We should try to teach people to be safe and we should also make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the Muslim community and we should be good with our neighbors and be more peaceful. But when attacks comes to the Muslim community, we should we should also be prepared for self-protection. And Alhamdulillah, we are seeing... Absolutely, this is what I'm saying. Yet again, the whole masjid was packed with people. I'm sure they could have just taken her and pushed her out of the masjid. They didn't have to call the police. This is my opinion, guys. That and whole of Europe in USA and also in Africa, Islam is becoming the fastest growing religion. And Alhamdulillah, Everywhere. people all over the world are accepting Islam. We should do more istighfar and we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And moreover, we should spread the beautiful message of Islam across the world because it's our responsibility as a Muslim to give da'wah, to share the message of Islam with everyone. May Allah make it easy for one and all. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Unfortunately, we couldn't hear what the woman was saying within the mosque. I even double checked and I saw certain Indian outlets claiming that this is factually wrong. They claimed that this woman was not a Hindu, but a mentally disturbed Muslim lady. Please let me know in the comment section what you guys think, because as for right now, all the outlets claiming this were Hindu, were Indian themselves. Therefore, I cannot take them at face value. You. All we got is this clip taken out of context. We see a woman there without a hijab within the mosque screaming and shouting and then being deported by the police. But no matter what the incident is, if it is religiously motivated, if it is a mental health issue or what not, I still stick with my previous statement that I personally would have escorted that lady, especially if I have a mosque full of brothers with me. I mean, how hard can it be to bring out that lady peacefully? Basically, doing the same job that the policeman did. Taking her hands behind her back and just putting her outside. Very, very simple. Anyways, as I said, if you know anything about this incident, please let me know in the comment section so we can report on it further. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, or the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys, and as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.